idea behind is simply an Airbnb for cars. It starts with the fact that most of the people, they don't use their car much. If you look around, there's a lot of cars parked. So why you should not make money out of the car rather than the car sitting on the street? For the drivers, it's about affordability flexibility because you can rent a car that's up to 15 years old. So you can imagine that for driver, it's much cheaper, flexible. We can have cabrios, we can have older cars, vans, SUVs. So the idea behind is affordable, flexible mobility for people on a click because you have it in the application. As a driver or owner, you register. It takes a couple of minutes. It's important to say that every driver is checked so we check your driving license, we check your ID, we also check credit check. So for insolvency executions, because we also only want to rent cars to people that are sound. And then very easily you choose the right car in the application. Very important is that the payments go through application and the handover goes through application. Very interesting is that our application is able to work with older cars. So I mentioned you can register a car of 15 years old or 300,000 kilometers and these cars are the ones that rent the most because they are cheap. So one example, Fiat Grande Punto from 2007. This car last year, it made double the market price of the car. So actually the owner now can buy two more cars. We also have an owner who makes 60,000 60, poly zloty last year. It was one owner. In average, it's roughly five to 10 poly zloty per year per owner. So you can imagine as an owner, you will get your insurance cost covered, service cost covered for nothing, just for renting the car. I think this is a great example of how we can utilize what is already in the economics and we can help local communities, local owners, because they will just generate extra money out of nothing. With the inflation cost going up, this is a great opportunity for owners and for the drivers as well, because now drivers are in a seek for affordable, flexible mobility and this is the cheapest way how to get a car for your trip. So I think it's gonna be, get bigger and bigger and even year on year we see the growth. You can already choose from up to 1000 cars in the platform and we hope and we encourage owners to register their car to have even a bigger fleet. We start at minimum one day but the average is seven days and the longest trip was a year. You can rent a car from one day and that one day trip will be insured. So this is a very flexible insurance product. We don't want to put owner in the risk. So insurance is something that we worked very hard on. It's super difficult to get a good insurance product. We have a team here in Poland. So if there's a question from owner or driver, we can have a team of five people in customer care team and a fleet manager. So we can always love to talk to people because everyone has a different need. I always loved cars in Prague, in my hometown. I use Hopigo a lot. I'm the heavy owner because I rent my own car a lot. And also in the summer I rent cabrios. So, you know, I need to test the platform. I need to use it. And I love meeting people to discuss the platform because there's a lot of feedback from owners and, and, uh, and drivers, so that's what I love on the, on, on the platform. Hopefully in a couple of months, you will be able to rent a car in different country with your existing profile. So right now, you would have to, being a Polish, you would have to register again in Czech Republic, which is fine, it's easy, but in the future it will be even easier because you will not have to do it and you can rent a car in other countries as well.